Well, praise the Lord. Here we are again, another night. Uh, we started this uh, over a week ago, and I just felt like, amen, the Lord wanted us to keep going, and we praise the Lord for uh, the good services that we've had, and uh, we want to personally thank every singer that uh, we've had uh, that's helped us, and uh, thank God for technology that has allowed them uh, to come on and sing and bless people and share with us uh, while we're here and then they're in their home or wherever they may be. And uh, so uh, we're looking forward tonight. Amen. Brother Charlie Frazier will be on here in just a few minutes and uh, we're going to uh, add him. But we're also waiting, Lord willing, for our singer. I uh, should be in the background here in the next few minutes. And we say hello to Brother Chad. Amen. Appreciate you as well. And uh, I'm sure you're going to enjoy this sister who sings tonight. Amen. If she can... Uh, connect and uh, everything will work out. Also, a couple of announcements before that we go look for her. Um, uh, now, when uh, we switch from the singer to the preacher, there's going to be a few minutes uh, that we'll lose sound, but don't panic. Amen. Uh, it'll come right back. It's the transition of switching from the singer to the preacher. And uh, so uh, just just know that, that it's not a mess up. It's just one of those technical difficulties. And uh, we thank God for the good services we're having. I see our singer. Let me go ahead and try to add her. And uh, let's see. There you are. Praise the Lord. Thank Hello. you. Thank you. Yes, sir. I'm glad to be here with you all. Yeah, we've been uh, having some good meetings. Had one come uh, rededicate to the Lord last night. Amen. So we appreciate God for that. And uh, I love your singing. My son introduced me to your singing. And uh, you, you do a real fine job. And I'm sure that uh, people will be blessed. So just go ahead and obey the Lord. And when you get done, uh, we'll close you out and bring on the preacher. Yes, sir. All right. I'm going to try a good old Pentecostal one here. We'll see how it goes. Amen. That'd be good. A hand to fear gripped the crowd that day at Jairus' home. When the doctor shook his head and said, she's gone. You can hear the mother's heart break. You can hear them crying for their little girl was only 12 years old. Somewhere in the distance, allied against the sun, there came a man on a mission from the throne. Amen. And he said, look, somebody's coming. But what they did not know, it was their promise coming down that dusty road. Amen. There's a promise coming down your dusty road. And from his holy hands, healing virtue flows. And he's got the keys to what you need. Death and hell, you will do. Amen. Always coming down that dusty road. And well, the wonder turned to mock in when Jesus did speak. As he said, Your daughter's not dead. Oh, she's just asleep. <laughs> then he turned to the unbelievers and he told them, Y'all go home. Amen. Just leave me and death alone. And then he placed his hands upon the child and he looked death right in the eye. And he said, All power on heaven and earth, it belongs to me. So when the voice that sounds like that, Said my child, who dies and be healed. Amen. There's a promise coming down your dusty road. From his holy hands, healing virtue flows. Yes, yes. He's got the key to what you need. Death and hell, you will defeat. 
trying week for me so okay. uh, this song just kind of hit me and it's called still blessed so i hope you guys enjoy it yes sometimes i wake up I've made it through the night. Come on, I listen for my family. Sure enough, they're all right. And as we gather around the table, bow our heads in thankfulness. <laughs> Tears fill as my heart cries. Still believe. And there's never a day he doesn't give me all I need. And even when I wake up to a storm, my soul cries peace. And sometimes I try to count them. Well, there are too many I confess. So with bars of grace, I just seem to still bless. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, I don't want to leave my family. Oh, and I don't want to leave my friends. See, but lately, I've Amen. been so homesick. How I long just to be with him. So in the morning, should you find me with these eyes closed in death? What Amen. a victory, what glory, Amen. There's never a day he doesn't give me all I need. Even when I wake up to a storm, my soul cries me. Sometimes I try to count them. Yeah. There are just too many, I confess. So with arms of grace, I just say, still blessed. Amen. And sometimes I try to count them. Oh, there are too many, I confess. So with arms of grace, I just say, still blessed. Great job, great Amen. Praise thank the Lord. Thank you guys so much for having me. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you for helping us. God bless you. You too. Thank you, brother. Bye bye.
Charlie, we're trying to get your attic, sir. There right. you go, brother. <clears throat> Amen. Go ahead and obey the Lord, son. All right. Appreciate you, Brother Blake, having us tonight on the, on the revival. Let me say I enjoyed the singing uh, tonight. I hope everybody can see me good. Yeah, uh, and I can hear you, too. Yeah, man, that's good. <laughs> I appreciate appreciate you, Brother Blake, for having us tonight. And let me say well, I do appreciate the songs of Zion. Appreciate everybody that's watching, Brother Blake. And appreciate his work. Amen. He does for the Lord. Amen. And our hope is tonight some song is sung by that dear sister there and the, uh, the word of God would help somebody tonight, maybe encourage you, maybe help you go along life's highway. Thought about it all day today. And then Brother Blake asked me to come on. I had a thought right then. And we'll be with you tonight over in the book of John, chapter number six, and probably want to start uh, probably uh, 61. John 6, 61, I read real quick. Amen. And uh, get, get into the thought tonight. But I got a question. Amen. I'll ask you here in a minute. Everybody pray real hard. And the Bible says when Jesus Listen. knew in himself that his disciples murmured at it, he said unto them, doth this offend you? What? And if ye shall see the Son of Man Send up where he was before, and it it is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh, profiteth nothing. Amen. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit, and they are life. But there are some of you that believe not. Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believed not, and who should betray him. And he said, Therefore, said I unto you that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of my father. From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. And he, then he says this in verse 57, says, Then said Jesus unto the twelve, Will you also go away? And then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. Amen. And the Bible said in 69, and it said, And we believe and are sure that thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. <clears throat> Jesus answered him, Have not I chosen you twelve, and one of you is a devil? And he spake of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon, for he is, he, he it is, well, that Bless should you. betray him, Bless being you. one of the twelve. And I appreciate the reading of the scripture tonight. Y'all pray for me. I, I had to sit down. I had a little operation there on my leg yesterday. Uh, but uh, I thought about uh, the thought that came to me there, uh, there when Brother Blake uh, asked me, and, and I, I began to meditate uh, upon what God would want us to have. And uh, I want to get back down there to verse 68. Number 67, Jesus answers, uh, ask a question. He said, will you also go away? Then verse 68, for we want to take our thought from, he says, uh, then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. Uh, I thought about uh, the, uh, that just a little old phrase, where can we go? Amen. And I uh, thought about this word tonight, and uh, uh, now Peter knew, and the, the men of God knew here that Jesus was, he declared it uh, that right there in 69, and he said, we believe uh, in our shore. I'm glad Amen. tonight that we can be sure uh, of our uh, salvation tonight, and my uh, my uh, concern is tonight, if you may be watching tonight and you don't know for sure uh, about your salvation, then tonight would be a good night uh, maybe just to, to know who Jesus is. And uh, now the question here is, he says, uh, will you uh, go away? And uh, old Peter said, hey, he said, Lord, uh, uh, to whom shall we go? Uh, and he said, Lord, can we go? Uh, and I began to thought, uh, think about a lot of things. 
uh, uh, men has looked at so many areas in life and uh, asked, uh, 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 and they're, they're depending on a lot of things. Uh, the grass right. a hold of comfort, and they're depending on uh, maybe riches of things and tangible things uh, in, in this world to maybe make them comfortable and uh, take away maybe the need. They feel like it takes away uh, the need of God in their life, but there's never been a day uh, that, uh, that we ever lived in, that we need God more now than we ever have. Amen. And we need a place to go. And uh, Peter knew it just as well uh, when he said to whom shall we go? He said, Thou hast the words of eternal life. Uh, and I thought about that little lady down there in John 4, uh, the little Samarian woman the there that day. Uh, my friend, when uh, Jesus came down there, and there she was, and uh, oh, and and she looked out there, and uh, she looked down in that well, and Jesus asked her. He said, "If he knew who I was, uh, you'd ask for me a drink, and I'd give you a drink of living water, and you'd never thirst again." She never heard nothing like that. Uh, she was from down there, woman out Samaria. I've uh, been down there. And I mean, seem like a long way from God. Uh, but the Lord, amen, began to deal with her. Yes, and uh, Jesus said, boys, you go down and you buy meat and uh, you buy bread. He said, but I'm going to stop by. Uh, I must be going through Samaria. I, uh, there's a little, uh, he knew in his mind. And he felt in his spirit there's a little Sumerian woman that uh, that would come by his way. And, and he sat there upon the well of Jacob. Uh, that well had been purchased way back in Genesis and uh, passed down through time. And uh, to all the children, all the, uh, uh, maybe them that inherited the land. Uh, uh, but there was an altar there uh, uh, before. There was a well. I, uh, there was an altar there on that piece of land. Uh, amen. And old Jacob just passed it down. I, I know that we were fair pilgrims. And our men and women maybe stopped by the well at times. And I dipped down, Brother Blake, and began no. to uh, drink of that cold water. But there come a day that uh, the, the, the long Galilean man, I, uh, the one they called the Nazarite, I, uh, amen, come to sit there on that well that day. I, uh, he was a thirst, yes he was, I, uh, but I believe he was thirsty for the soul of a man. I, I saw the woman that day. I was a cast out from way back in the Old Testament. I, I, the Jews hated him and cast him out. I, how uh, they was considered people without a God. I, I, I passed by the Jews, they despised. I, 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 but Jesus come. I, I, down there the Bible said, I, he came to his own brother Blake and his own received him not. I, I, but my friend, he turned to a race down there that didn't know God. I, I, I just heard of him, amen. I, I didn't know about the Son of God. I, uh, but he indeed introduced himself there that day. Uh, uh, Brother Blake there that day, he said, hey, uh, uh, there, uh, listen, uh, he said, I'll give you a drink of lamb and water. Uh, um, before it was over, Brother Blake, she said, Amen. give me a drink of uh, uh, that lamb and water. Where can we go? Uh, amen. amen. We can go to the Lord. Uh, amen. She didn't know. You know this today. Uh, uh, she, was, she was married five times. Uh, and no. Jesus told her about her life. I, he said, the very one you're with now don't even belong to you. I, he knew Brother Blake, she was sacked yeah, up yeah. down there. I, I was not living right. I, amen. Her city, my friend, according to the way I study, I, I was abruptly about a mile away from this well. I, I thought about preaching one time the life smile and sin you'll ever spend. I, I thought about that. She didn't know that. I, I, the man that she did meet down there at that well that day, I, I would change her life in such a way. I, I, the Bible said she dropped her water pot. I, amen. In verse, amen. In chapter 4, Verse 29, I, she said, Conceal man, I, I which told me all things ever I did. I, and she said, Is not this the Christ? I, yeah. Amen. I love that, don't you, today? Yeah. I, and she went down 
on earth to see and told the man that said, I'm going to tell you about a man oh, that told me everything about me. He knew everything, oh, but yet he offered me eternal life. He offered me living water. Yeah, yeah. And then men got those enough uh, that they went down there to see who he was. Uh, and they told us that we didn't know uh, about what you told us. Uh, uh, but we went down there and seen for ourselves. Uh, thank God tonight. Uh, uh, what we need, uh, where we can go, uh, is to the Lord tonight. Uh, he's what he's the one uh, uh, that's got the answer uh, uh, to our life. Uh, he's the one. Uh, Amen. He can help us in the time of trial and tribulation and trouble when we can't find a way. He is the way tonight. Amen. 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 Well, <laughs> amen. You know, the Bible said, she said, come see a man. Uh, that told me all there ever was. Uh, about, I'm glad the Lord knows who we are. Uh, amen. But Brother Blake, I'm glad he not, not only does he know it, uh, but he loves us anyway. Uh, praise the Lord. Uh, amen. Looking down there in that scripture. Uh, amen. Live fun. Uh, I like that scripture, don't you? Uh, amen. What did Jesus tell him? Uh, amen. In John 17 and 8. He said, I've given, uh, 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 amen, he said, I've given uh, uh, them the words which thou givest me, uh, and they receive them, uh, amen, listen, uh, when we receive the word, uh, it opens something up in our life, uh, it gives us hope, uh, amen, when there's no hope, uh, amen, I'm glad tonight, uh, it gives us the healing, uh, amen, in our spiritual body, uh, thank God tonight, uh, and give us eternal life to Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, I love him tonight. Now, amen. amen. That's what he said. He said, Pray given. He said, I've given unto them thy word. Uh, which thou gavest me, and they received them. Uh, now look right up here. And the Bible said this. Uh, but listen, let's flip right over here. Uh, John 5 and 3. It said, His commandments are not grievous. If you look back over in Matthew chapter number 11 and verse 28, it says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. I take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Uh, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest uh, unto your souls. Uh, uh, where can we go? Uh, uh, where can we go? Uh, who's got eternal life? Uh, and then in John, uh, first John 5 and 5, uh, who is he uh, uh, that overcometh the world? Uh, but he that believeth that Jesus is uh, uh, the Son of God. Uh, he said, come on to me, didn't he? He said, take my yoke upon you. He said, and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest for your soul. He said, for my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. It's a lot easier to hook up with Jesus and let him buy your burden. Uh, uh, then my friend to try to do it on your own. Uh, uh, Peter said we can't go nowhere else. Uh, you have the word of eternal life. You're proving it to us. Uh, we believe you. Uh, you are. Uh, he said whom the men say that I am. Uh, and old Peter said some say uh, uh, that they are Elias uh, and some Jeremiah. Uh, he said but who do you uh, I say that I am. And Peter said, I say of the power of the Christ, of the Son of the living God. He said, Peter, flesh and blood have not revealed this to you, but my Father, who art in heaven, and he said, and I say upon this rock, I'll build my church, and the gates of hell will not prevail. What are you talking about? He wouldn't build it upon Peter. He was building upon the faith. He was 
building upon the cross. He was building upon the death of the obedience to his word. He said, in other words, he said, Peter, if people would believe it just like you, and just like them men down there, of the gates of hell cannot prevent you from doing my will. Thank God I'm glad tonight he's put us on a rock. He's established our God. He's put a new song in our mouth. Hey, man, he's given me stability when I didn't have none. Amen. He's given me joy when I should have been down. Hey, man, he's lifted me up when I was in the mire of my sin. He forgave me. He brought me where I was. That's yes. where we can go. We yes. got to go to God. Amen. Yes, hallelujah. Well, I didn't know I was going to preach like that. Amen. But listen. That's all right. Amen. I'm yeah. that the Holy Ghost is still the Holy Ghost in my house. Amen. 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 Some show, Brother Blake. This ain't some show. We put on on the weekends, on Sundays and Wednesdays. But this thing's real. Amen. Amen. I see you, little son of a living God. I say he's the word of God. I say he said his blood for us. I say, hey, listen. I say he broke his flesh for us. Hey, Amen. He said, let you drink of my blood and eat of my body. You can't have no part. Thank God tonight. I'm glad I've been saved. I'm glad I've got his body. I'm glad I've got his word. He is the bread of life. If you're hungry, he said, bless it. For those that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Thank God. Where can we go? We'll go to God tonight. Praise the Lord. I love him tonight. Listen, just a few more minutes, and we'll be done. You pray for us. Amen. Bless him, God. Up here. And in, in, in chapter 6 of John again. Amen. Let's go ahead and read this. In 53, then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except ye eat the flesh of, my, of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Let me tell you something. You ain't got fellowship with God. You ain't got nowhere to go. In time of trouble, Brother Blake, there's going to be times of sickness and misunderstanding in life. The death's going to come. Amen. Amen. The nurse ain't going to always go by our house. The doctors ain't going to always give us good news. Amen. But we receive this man named Jesus. He said, I'll be with you all the way. I'll go with you in the doctor's office. <laughs> if you have to have a surgery, I'll go with you behind them doors. Amen. When friends forsake you, he said, I'll not forsake you. He said, when a woman forsake her second child, well, no, no, no. And he won't forsake us, my friend. He went to say, man. And verse 54 said, who sweeteth my flesh and drinketh my blood after eternal life. And I will raise him up at the last day. That for my flesh is mean indeed, and my blood is drank indeed. And he that ate it, eateth eat it, my flesh, and drank it, my blood dwelleth in me, and I in him. I'm glad to have a relationship. Amen. Amen. With this man named Jesus. And you know what he told him one day? He said, yeah, he said the flock's going to be smitten. He said, y'all going to be scattered. He said, the shepherd's going to be smitten. And the flock's going to be scattered. He said, but I'm going to tell you what to do. He said, go down there in Jerusalem. He said, go in the upper room. Amen. And Brother Blake, he said, you tear it right there until you endow with power from on high. 120 something went in that room. Act 238 said, sin. Amen, Brother Blake, that there came a noise. The sound of a mighty rushing wind. Yes. Amen. And the Holy, I'm glad when the Holy Ghost comes in the yes. place. Yes. Amen. He don't have to knock on the door. Yes. He don't have to get who it is. Yes. He's getting yes. down my teeth. Boy, he's getting in my feet right now. Yes. Amen. He's 
been in my hands. He's got, he's got in my eyeballs. He's run down my teeth. He's got in my hands. And he's got in my balls. Thank God tonight. He'll blow the spirit, Lord. Wait, listen. You can't tell about it. Oh, when that small breeze blows, when that warm breeze blows, brother, amen, it'll cause something to happen. Thank God the Spirit don't lie. The Holy Ghost don't lie. Yeah. If you've got what you say you had, if you've had communion with God, if you've eat his blood, drunk his blood, and eat his flesh, brother, there'll be evidence yeah. in your life. Uh, my friend, uh, it won't be cold. Uh, thank God he'll be here. Hey, listen, uh, he, uh, he's the God, the Holy Ghost. Uh, but right here in Sigourneville, uh, right here in Rogersville, uh, just like it is up there where Brother Blake is, uh, wherever you're at, uh, the Holy Ghost. Uh, but if you've got a uh, fellowship with Christ, you can have fellowship uh, one with another. I'm glad. I know where to go. Praise the Lord. Well, amen. They locked themselves in the room around here. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Sitting down here by the dinner table. I'm having a good meal. Amen. amen. It's a good meal. It's just something to keep you going. It's just something to keep your body. A your spiritual man. A strong amen. I love him tonight. And the Bible amen. says, in the Bible said in verse 57, as the living Father has sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eateth me, uh, even he shall live by me. Oh, listen, mother. What did Jesus tell Satan? Come on. I believe it was over Matthew 3, wasn't it? Uh, 40 days is tempted out there. And I attempted 40 days and 40 nights in the wilderness. Amen, but listen to me. That old devil, Satan himself, he said, you know you're hungry. He said, won't you change them stones in the bread? And Jesus looked up and had no doubt and said, uh, listen, man, I not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. You know what that word is? It's that bread. Oh, it's that bread. He said, if you eat it, you won't hunger. He said, listen, what is it? But you drink it, you won't. You won't be thirsty. I ain't found nothing, Brother Blake, in the world worth time and going to hell for. What chilling my God out for? I've been out there. I've been a backslid man. I've been a cold backslid man. I thought I was going to die and go to hell. But you talking about mercy reaching now. A father and I could reach up. I want you to know you ain't done so much. God can help you. That little Samaritan woman shot up been married five times. Amen. But when God, when, when his son Jesus went by and she got a drink of that living water, she couldn't wait to tell somebody about it. It's like that little blind boy. He was blind with it. That man was blind from his youth up. He was born blind. Hey, man, boy, listen, you know what he said? He said, hey, whether he is or not, whoever he is, I know one thing. He said, I once was blind, but now I see. Hey, man, I guess they're just the way we was. Hey, man, they ridiculed the Lord. They ridiculed his word. Hey, man, they, a lot of people don't want nothing to do with it until something bad happens. Hey, man, what a shame. Hey, man, I want fellowship with him, don't you? Hey, man, they run him down. Hey, man, they make fun of him. Uh, people get his cross uh, uh, tattooed on their skin upside down. Uh, uh, they say they're uh, worse than Satan. Uh, uh, they say they're making a mock out of God. Uh, I want you to know there'll be a day. Uh, amen. They'll regret everything they've done. Uh, every idle word uh, will be brought before God on that day. Uh, uh, there's a judgment day. Uh, amen to come. Uh, and where can we go? Uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, I want to stand for the Lord now. I'd rather make that on judgment day. Amen. When I stand there, I want like to stand alone. Amen. I'll have the best that representation with me. I have the blood of the Lamb. I 
I've got it up on the lintel. I've got it on the side pole. I need to hang on. I've got it on the inside. Hey, Amen. Today you want peace in your life. You get the lamb on the inside. He will he apply the blood. He give you a shore. And when the storms are raging outside, you'll stay with God. He'll make it all right. A death pipes over. There'll be sin all around you. Oh, but on the inside, you're alive and alive. Amen. He'll cry. Amen. Where can we go? Peter said, hey, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. I think I'll just stay with the Lord. Amen. Amen. Well, praise the Lord. Well, amen. Thank God good tonight. Yes, amen. I'm glad we can eat with him. I'm glad there's fellowship with him. And all these boys, they saw it, brother. Uh, brother Blank, they seen it. No, even old Judas is scary. He saw the blinded eyes open. Brother, he saw the little boy in the briar. He'd get up out of that coffin. You don't think he was there on the day? Old Jarius came running to Jesus. You don't think he was there that day when the, that when the crowd thronged upon him? And the little woman that issue of blood for 12 years uh, pressed through that crowd. You know what that crowd represented that day? Oh, that crowd represented depression. And that crowd represented why she couldn't do it. Hey Amen. That crowd that, that, that crowd represented pride. That, that crowd represented. Hey Amen. That old enemy saying, look at that crowd. You can't get to him. Hey Amen. But you know what? She had something well up on the inside of her. And that said, if I could just press through that crowd and just get to the hem of his garment, I don't need to grab his whole body. But if I can just touch the finished part, after I think tassels, his wine and his garment, amen. If I can just get a hold of that word, if I can just believe the word, and if I can just reach out and touch it, I know I can be made whole. And there was something that made her press through that crowd. Hey Amen. Somebody's been depressed. Uh, somebody's pride has defeated them. Hey Amen. The devil's told you you can't. That crowd represents that alcohol. Uh, uh, alcohol and drugs. That fornication. That idolatry in your life. That's held you back from the joy of God. Uh, but can I say... If you just get down on your knees and press through and under that crowd and press through them problems you can't do nothing about and you start looking in the crowd and not at the crowd, you can't drink enough how to give you peace. Hey man, you can't snort enough drugs up your nose how to give you peace. You can't smoke enough pot how to give you peace. Hey man, you can't have enough premarital sex how to give you comfort. You can't work four and five jobs and a bank full of money give you comfort. It'll take having the presence of a holy God. I'm the very one that old Peter said, I say the power to cry. I'm the son of a living God. There ain't nothing like knowing it for yourself. There ain't nothing. I better blink about I know better than being sure that you've got a relationship with Christ, amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We're going to come to a close. Just going to give you a little bit of hope tonight. I appreciate it, boy. Amen. He says, come unto me, all you that labor. Amen. And if you did not give you rest. He was talking. He was talking to that man out there in the gutter. Amen. Brother Blake, he was talking to that lady that went so far. She got a rope around her neck tonight. He's got a knife in his hand, a gun to his head. You hear me? He's talking to them, the church religious people that's coming to church and playing like it's all right yes. when it ain't. Been many, Brother Blake, that's yes. Yes. I sat on the front pew of the church, sung in the choir. Yes. Amen. Been a, a, a members of the church. Die and go to hell. 
Yes, We're not a relationship with Christ. They had a relationship with people. They had a relationship with knowing their jobs, but they did not have a relationship. They did not eat that word. They have not drunk of that blood. They have not eaten of that bread. They ain't, they ain't felt the presence of the Holy Ghost in their life. Hey Amen. They ain't got peace. Come on. They're done things on Sunday just because. Mom and daddy talk them to church. That's good. That's awesome. Take your children to church. Yeah. Teach them about the Lord, but teach them about a relationship that involves the Holy Ghost in their life. Amen. Teach them about convictions. Teach them about standards and get it right out of the Word of God. Yes. Let God be the truth and every man a liar. Your passionate opinion don't mean much if it ain't from God. Yes. Amen. Deacons, your job don't mean much if you ain't doing it by the word of God. Teachers, it ain't doing you no good to get up there and teach out some book other than the word of God. Amen. We need inspired. We need the inspired word of God. We need the Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost in our life, leading us and guiding us. He said, you ain't got no need for some man to teach you. He said, the Holy Ghost will teach you these things. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. He said, but hey, come unto me. You know what a yoke is tonight, people? Friend, you know what that yoke is? Amen. There's a yoke, you know. My teacher teaches it so well at, at church. And, and I take a hold of it. Hey, I, I, listen, I didn't plow with you. I don't know about running coon dogs and all like that, but I mean, it's good. You like to do that, but they can teach you some things. They take those dogs, Brother Blake, and they'll take the old dog that knows how to hunt, and they'll put that young dog with him, and he'll begin to teach him all the ins and outs, and this is how you do it. And if he'll take instruction, that old dog will teach him. But just like that old mule, that old workhorse, that old... Uh, that old, that old, whatever it, you know, that old oxen, get out there and they'll put that old one of experience. That one that knows how to run out a straight road. They'll put the blinders on them. They'll link that old young one up. Hey, man, with that old one, boy, it's been out in the field for years. And Brother Blake, it'll train that other. If it can be trained, he'll teach him. And he'll watch how that old one does it. He'll pick up on it. People don't understand how smart animals even are. Brother, those son that he was smarter than a human being. Amen. When Jesus was out there and that old boy was this with them devil. Amen. The devil come to him, didn't he? He said, Oh, he said, Who are you? He said, We're legion for we are many. Amen. Long story short. He said, Why do you torment us for a time? He said, Just don't cast us out. They said, But catch us into them swine down there. And Jesus said, he, 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 what he did, he cast them out and went in down there. Hey, man, them swine, you know what happened? Even them swine, Brother Blake, they didn't want me for the devil. <laughs> they ran over the cliff and choked themselves in the sea. His brother dies to live for the devil. Amen. I'll tell you something, God, church, we need an attitude like that. Hey, Amen. We just soon may be in the presence of God and have to live miserable in this life and have to serve somebody. A hey, serve a God that they, listen, these gods of this world ain't real. But boy, they're taking people to hell. They ain't breathing. They can't help them with their hands. They can't see their knees. They can't hear them cry. Hey, Amen. But people's turning to them. They're like that old king. Hey, man, down there. He said, run down there and you ask them. How that, that old, that old family down there if I'm going to live? You, I want you to know the man of God said, you better go back and tell that man he ain't going to live. I want you to know we got turned to God. Well, the world ain't got what you need. God does. But, hey, man, when we, when we hook up, we cry. When we get in that yoke with him, he said, I'll teach you. I'll learn you. Hey, man, I'll teach you all things. Hey, man, what did David say? He said, thy word, Lord, is a lamp unto my feet, a light unto my pathway. He said, thy word, oh, Lord, have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Ain't that something tonight? The word of God. He said, take this yoke upon you and learn of me. Amen. Amen. The girl did that in chapter four. There's another in eight. You can read all about it. Peter and them boys knew. Amen. They'd been with Jesus long enough in that yoke. They knew who he was. Amen. 
that little lady left that day and said, come meet a man. I know who he is. Amen. And he said, all you had to do, if you believe me, amen, if you believe me. Jesus told his father, didn't he, in John 17 and 8, he said, I had given them the words, given them the words, that given the words of them which thou hast given me, and they have received them. Amen. When you receive, they'll make a difference in your life. Amen. Amen. Coming to the close. Amen. And, and just listen to this in closing. If you need to pray, Brother Blake's here tonight. You can call him. You can call me. Oh, I'm sure there's some other men of God on here. Maybe your pastor, maybe, maybe he realizes some things in your life just wasn't right. That's right. Amen. Call your pastor. Call on God. He'll help you. Amen. Somebody, call somebody. Don't don't let the, the enemy win no more. Don't let the enemy, young folks. Don't let the devil have one more minute of your life. Dedicate you, dedicate yourself to God. The old people used to tell me, buddy, live for the Lord while you're young. Yes. Amen. We know God will help you. God Amen. will be a present help in your life. John 5 and 5 said this. First John 5 and 5 said this. Who is he that overcometh the world? Who is that that overcomes the world? But he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. There's no victory in your life without Christ. Brother Blake, there's no victory in our life without, there's no healing in our life without Christ. There's no good thing. Amen. Amen. In our life without Christ. You Amen. can have all, you can have it all. Yes. Amen. That rich man had it all. But yes. you know what the Bible said? If a man gained the whole world and lose his soul, what would he give in exchange for the soul? And may I say tonight in closing, amen, may I say tonight, you'd give everything you've ever worked for. Hey, listen, you'd give up relationships with what you thought was good for you. You'd go out there at the bank account. And you'd go down there and you'd try to buy it. Amen, listen, that rich man that went to hell that desired that drop off Lazarus' finger, he ain't never got that drop. Right. Lazarus ain't never made that trip. He ain't, right. going. he ain't going to. Abraham said, I'm going to tell you something. He said, well, at least let Lazarus go back and tell more than my five brothers. See, there's always somebody else. There's always somebody else. He said, let him go back and more than my five brothers not to come to this awful place. Yes. And Abraham said, if he'll not hear Moses, he'll not hear all the prophets, he'll not hear one, don't be raised from the dead. I want you to know something. Well, this is a sad truth. Jesus rose on the third day. Amen. He rose victorious over death, hell, and the grave. And multitudes and more pop on multitude. The Bible said in the valley of the season. They're right. down the field today. And they don't know what to believe in. They won't believe Christ did it all. He rose from the grave. Abraham said it right. They won't believe this man. They're not going to believe that man either. I want you to know something. Jesus loves you. This yeah. I know. You know why the Bible tells me so. I love you tonight. Thank you, Brother Blake. Thank you for the opportunity. I'll get off here and let you go. God bless you. Amen. God bless. We'll be back tomorrow at 7 o'clock.